Manual Transmissions, considered by petrolheads at least, to be one of the greatest inventions of all time. However, you'll be aware that not all cars are available with this great invention as a standard option. Automatic and CVT vehicles flood the classifieds with manual transmissions being the minority. I'd put this down to the fact that automatic transmissions are easy. You've literally just got stop, go and turn to deal with. Whereas manual transmissions have a stick and a strange third pedal that most people find just too confusing. So now we get to the reason for this video. If an automatic transmission really is automatic, then what do those funny buttons with a plus and minus do? Well, as suggested by the name paddle shifters, they're basically paddles that shift gears. Now I understand that all cars are different, but for this car, a Honda Jazz Sport, here's what they do. Put the car in drive and the car will smoothly select the best gear out of five for the scenario that you're in. When you're just cruising around town, it'll be in third or fourth. Put your foot down and it might drop into second, and then up to fifth when you hit motorway speeds, if you get the picture. Now if I'm driving on the motorway and I pull the minus paddle, a 4 will come up in the gauge cluster, indicating that I've manually put the car down into 4th gear. This is great, particularly in low powered cars if you want to overtake someone, because you'll often need to prepare by downshifting and building up speed beforehand. But you'll notice that if I just drive along normally afterwards, the 4 will disappear and the car will shift into 5th again. I call this semi-automatic mode because you're able to select your own gears for a while, but if the car decides you don't need to be in the gear you've selected, it'll jump back into the gear it wants. Now if you put the car into sport mode, it'll hold it in the lowest three gears. This is good for driving around town if you want a sportier feel, because you can put your foot down and you'll have a quicker response because it won't have to downshift. It will also keep the overdrive off, meaning the revs will naturally hang closer to the power band, despite being in the same gear. Now however, if you pull a paddle, an M will come up next to the number. This is manual mode. Now don't get me wrong, it's not manual transmission mode because it's still fundamentally an automatic. However, it does allow you to choose what gear you want without the car interfering. The only time the car will interfere is if you slow down too much without changing down. The car will automatically choose a lower gear to prevent the engine from stalling. Manual mode is great if you want to have fun while driving because you can hold it in the lower gears yourself and make use of engine braking and the high rev power band. I happen to use it all of the time because I like to be able to select what gears I want like a traditional manual transmission. The only thing to be cautious of, particularly if you have a slightly older car like this one, is that the transmission won't do a great job at rev matching downshifts. Therefore, if you want high RPM downshifts to be smooth, you'll need to blip the throttle yourself. Well, that's going to be all for today. I hope you found this useful if you've been wondering what paddle shifters in an automatic transmission car do. Thanks for watching.